be showing you how to perform terrain recognition index in QGIS. So welcome back to TerraSpatial. So terrain recognition is extracted from digital elevation model that is DEM to measure the local elevation variability. So let us see how to do that in QGIS. So you can see here I have uh, imported or added my DEM data. Now go to the option raster and you can see the option analysis and come down you can see terrain recognition index TRI. Now click on this tool. In the input layer we need to provide our DEM, DEM layer and you can see here we can save the file. If you just click on save to a file you can save it to a particular location or you can save it to a temporary file. So let me save it to a particular location by clicking save to file. So once you have clicked it, the uh, file manager will be opening up. So here I am going to type in TRI and we need to enter the file name TRI QJS and let me save it and finally run the file and the tool. So we have got the results. So let me close this and you can just see here this is how the results looks like. Now let me unselect the them and you can see the value ranges from uh, ranging from 0 to 193.90. Uh, going back to the word document you can see here this uh, terrain recognition index can be classified like this. So it is nothing but from 0 to 80 meters you can see it is uh, the surface is level. 81 to 116 meters, it is nearly level. Likewise, uh, for example, uh, 220 to 497 meters, it is moderately rugged, and uh, 959 to 4367 meters is extremely rugged. So the, that is uh, that's how it is being classified. So I have uh, given the reference also. So let us classify it based on this. Go back to GAS, QJS and right click and go to the option properties here select single band procedure color and select discrete so we have selected discrete so you can see here so my range is uh, you can see based on my values here Based on my values, you can see here 0 to 193. So I can classify it into four classes like this. So let me do it. Going back Q to QJS. And here in the values, let me first uh, enter 80, then 116. Yeah. Before that, uh, I have to change it to equal interval and uh, in the classes, I am going to choose only 4. First, I am going to give the value 80, then 116. Let me go back to the word file and check the ranges. And next is 162. So the final will be 163 or let me classify it up to 193 in order to so now you can see here so the first will be a value equal or lesser than 80 then from 80 to 116 from 116 to 162 162 to 193 so I have just classified based on this value not uh, that much accurately but I have made uh, the accuracy might be a little bit uh, because the classification is not uh, accurate using this uh, QJS value. So let me apply it and click OK. Now you can see here 
so the uh, dark color which uh, dark color indicates the uh, surface is uh, flat from 80 to 116 so that is nearly 11 117 to 161 is slightly rugged and 162 to 239 is intermittently rugged so it is intermittently rugged this is level this is almost level so likewise you can just classify it so in my elevation uh, that is uh, dim data you can see the value the elevation ranges from uh, minus 11 to 1409 so likewise you can classify it accordingly if you have any doubts in this please do ask in the comment section thanks for watching goodbye everyone